the, that, that hip framing. Tim was doing. Did a very, very good job. So, like, for example, you're, I'll be down. And we started in an open guard. So look at what Tim was doing. He popped up, okay? He got that hip and he walks around and look, he turns me. See how he rotates me on the bottom? That's exactly what you want. You don't want to roll me to my left side. You want to turn me. One more time. Okay. He blocks the hip. Yes. And he walks around that way. Yeah. Yeah. Other way. Other way. To the left. To the left. To the left. To the left. And now to the right. Okay. So you see how he's turning me? Because the person on the bottom is not going to be like laying there like, like this. You know what I mean? If they are, then just well, what's the point of, you know, passing? Just, just pass anyway. Okay. So now let's say Tim is in my clothes guard. Okay. And I always want to make sure that this is all set here. Okay. So Tim postures, okay, he begins to back out, all right? He pops the guard open and he puts his right knee up. Yes, right there. What I'm gonna do is, wait, I'm gonna take it this way, okay? I'm going to put my right foot on his hip, I'm gonna keep control of his body here, and I'm gonna put my left foot on the inside of his knee as my left hand is pulling his heel. My goal is to keep this knee structure in line with my hip. I don't want to do this because he can begin to drive it and he can kill that hip. And plus, I don't want him to footlock me accidentally, okay? So my hook is a hook. It's not pointing. From here, because I can elevate with this hook. From here, see how my butt's aligned? I'm not all the way out of here. I move my butt over. And what I want to do is I want to take this heel. I don't want to be here. A lot of guys play here. I mean, unless you're doing this right here. Okay, you take the heel, okay, and you begin to turn it, which is going to tilt him over, okay, because it's very uncomfortable. Because his counter is to face me and put that foot on the mat and to drive that, take a step forward even, and to drive that shin in to kill my daily heva hook. Now he begins to drop that knee and goes in for a pass, okay. What I want to do is I want to take and create some space here, okay, and I want to be able to control his posture, okay? As I push him away with my right leg, oftentimes I'll stand up. Yes. But I want to spread him out right here, okay? And I'm sitting up. I'm not like flat like this. It doesn't work like this. Everything's engaged, okay? From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift him up, and I should be able to hold him here. And I'm going to take him over my left shoulder. And go begin to pass. Okay? That's one. So from this side. And it works the same way as they walk in. So he's standing, okay? And he, yeah, posture up, okay? And he walks in with the right foot, okay? He wants to, yes, right here. So from here, I have my hand on the left, uh, uh, my left hand on his right heel, and I'm gonna use this foot to push him away. He's gonna posture up, but I'm gonna break his posture down. From here, I hook him here, and then I'm gonna hook him right here. And as I lift him up, pull his head down. And I can go possibly mount or to the side. The other one that I want to show you guys is if he stands up and leaves with the right foot. Because he never, you never want to be squared up with both feet on the same line. It's always one foot <coughs> in or the other. Because if he's on the same line, Okay. He's potentially susceptible to getting sweat. So he's got to have one foot forward, like he's surfing. When you surf, your feet are not on the same line, unless you're riding a scooter. Okay. So from here, let's say, let's say we're here and I have my daily heba. Actually, we'll take this one. Oh. This is the daily heba hook. My knee is up, so I can pull him. Okay. Because I want to break his posture. I'm break his posture, but he takes my grip and strips it. Okay, I grab this sleeve right here. Okay, with my hand, like a spider girl sleeve, I push him away right here, and I begin to tilt him to the right. Okay, as I go here, here, back step, and slither right over him, okay? So we're gonna go over the first one. I mean, the, the second one, actually, because it's easier to do. So the way that it's gonna work is, oftentimes they walk in because he wants a knee drop pass, okay? I, and his posture's up. I can't reach him over here, but I can reach his sleeve here. Okay? I'm gonna push his 
far leg away and I have this hook here. And all I'm gonna do is, is that I'm gonna force him to stay on the same line right here as I begin to pull here and tilt him this way here. This hand pulls so he falls on the shoulder. As I keep that hook, I'll do it from another angle. And my foot gives me up as I staple here, here, here. And I like to keep this and we're back to the same position. Oh, he's hiding. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> here. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to do it from this side. We're here. He steps in. Look, I got the daily heva. I have his sleeve because I'm grabbing, let's say, here. He strips it and I went to here. And I have a good group here. From here, what I want is, is that I want to rock him and make him stand on the same one line, his left foot and right foot, as I pull him perpendicular with this hand right here and block that foot. All, and I'm picking this left hand up, so he will probably fall here. But I keep my hand here and the hook here, as I use this to pull me up. Use my right leg to come up, and I can staple here, and my hip's gonna be nice and heavy as I go here. And this guy already has his face away under her. Does that make sense? Okay. Let's see if can do it. So I'm going to be a good partner for Tim. I'm going to step in. Tim's feet are up off the mat always. Okay. Tim is going to grab. Okay. So we have this. So I strip this with the right hand. Good. Left hand at the heel. And this knee. Yes. So just be careful because you're tweaking your partner's knees. When you pull this heel right here and the knee goes to the ceiling, you have a good hook right here. Taylor it turns my knee. Oftentimes they want to realign here. He's going to have his foot right here. Stretch that leg out. Good. And now slowly pull and roll onto your right side. Yes. And keep lifting that heel. Yes. Good. And now come up, 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 up. Bring this knee, staple it here, and back step. With the, with, yes. Because your, your, right, your left foot should staple my, my top leg. So you should land it here, and I go back with the right foot. Back, back, back. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. One more time. So all we're gonna do is this. Put your head that way. Okay, his feet are up, because your feet are never down. If, if, if your feet, feet are down, you're already getting past. So we're here. Walk in, he's gonna be relaxed, okay? Hand on the heel, on the heel, yes. And you're gonna, as this points, yes, you see how he turns my knee? And, and this has to stay hooked, okay? You can't have be loose with this hook, because this hook pulls, pull. See how he pulled me in, out, okay? I'm gonna give him the sleeve, his right foot's gonna go on my thigh. He's gonna sit up, and he's gonna pull, yes. And see how he's tilting me? And he's rolling. Now look, your right elbow should be going back. Yes. And now with the left hand, lift that heel. Yes. Keep the heel. Yes. And now as you fall uh, here, this keeps the hook. And you're going to get up. Yes. The yes and back step. Beautiful. There you go. Very nice. Does that make sense? Okay. One more time here. Tim's going to step in with the right foot. I'm gonna make some space here. I grab the sleeve here, okay? And I can walk him out here. I begin to walk him this way here. This I'm keeping up because it's my back foot that helps me get up, and this I pressure here. So my left hip's connected to his hip, and I walk out, walk out, walk out, walk out. From here, it doesn't matter because he's able the potential choke here. And if I more crank it, he's gonna eventually use that right hand somehow. If not, it's fine. Okay, make sense, guys? Let's try it. One, two, three. Walk in with that right foot. Right knee should be at their left side. Partner up with somebody similar sizes. 